Alright, this is my assignment for AP English regarding Canadian poetry. The poem I've chosen to do is From Stone to Steel by E.J. Pratt. So before I begin the poem, I'm just going to do a quick analysis of uh, E.J. Pratt. He was born in Western Bay, Newfoundland on February 4th, 1882. He spent 26 years in education, both at elementary school and then uh, further at university. Uh, while at university, he got a Master of Arts degree, and then uh, after that he lived the rest of his life in Toronto. Uh, and throughout his life, he would, uh, he'd work on many poems and end up working with the Canadian Art Group, the Group of Seven, uh, where they provided uh, art for his published poems. And many of the themes present in a lot of his works is the theme of, uh, of evolution from one idea to the next, uh, or of just uh, human nature in itself. So now let's get into the poem. From stone to bronze, from bronze to steel, along the road dust of the sun, two revolutions of the wheel, from Java to Geneva run. The snarl Neanderthal is worn, close to the smiling Aryan lips, the civil polish of the horn gleams from our praying fingertips. The evolution of desire has but matured a toxic wine, drunk long before its heady fire, reddened the Euphrates or the Rhine. Between the temple and the cave, the boundary lies tissue thin. The yearlings still in the altars crave a satisfaction for a sin. The road goes up, the road goes down, let Java or Geneva be. But whether to the cross or crown, the path lies through Gethsemane. So now that we've read the poem, let's get into it. So in the first four lines, uh, the first stanza, uh, there's a very strong theme of evolution uh, present there. Uh, and so there's just some, uh, some things to take note of. Uh, road dust, uh, which, which is a reference to uh, often walking a road in ancient times as, uh, as only the rich would have horses. And so you'd spend many of your days walking from uh, town to town if that was need be. And, uh, and there's just a very strong sense of, a, um, of an evolution of, a, of one theme to another uh, of the journey of mankind, uh, with Java being a reference to a, a time of chaos and war in Geneva, to the Geneva Conventions, uh, and referring to a time of peace. So now that we've got that out of the way, uh, on to the next stanza. And so uh, in lines five to eight, uh, Neanderthals were, uh, were an archaic group uh, of human subspecies, and the, the Aryans uh, were thought of as the perfect or ideal human race. And so what the first lines are saying is um, that the anger of Neanderthals is masked behind the fair looking uh, or the fair, perfect idea of Aryans, showing that there's still the primal anger. And the horn is a reference to a horn of prayer or worship, uh, which would be used in ancient times um, for, for people to communicate with their deity. And so now on to the, uh, the next stanza of lines 9 to 12. And so what it's saying in... Uh, in these lines about uh, the about the desire of humanity uh, has only matured into a toxic wine is um, is that the desires of humanity were supposed to result in something good and pleasing uh, to the people but rather it matured into something that would harm people rather than help them All right on to the next stanza All right. Uh, and so here in the line, it's uh, they're saying there's a thin, a thin line between a cave and a temple. Uh, in, in ancient times, people would often just use, uh, uh, or they'd create a holy place out of, out of a safe place. And so, uh, and so it's saying that uh, that the idea of of a temple. Was that of uh, was that of a cave? It was merely just a, a safe place that people could go to. And uh, and the yearling uh, is a year old animal which would be used as a sacrifice to to a god. 
And so now the final stanza, uh, the the path. What E. J. Pratt is saying is the uh, is the path of humanity has its ups and downs. Uh, there are times of peace. There are times of war. Uh, and that it's just that's how it is. That's how human nature is. And uh, in the last two lines, he's saying that with Gethsemane being the place where when Jesus prayed before being seized by the Romans, uh, it's just saying that uh, that if one seeks salvation or if one seeks power, uh, it can be received through through prayer. Or rather, what E. J. Pratt is most likely getting at is uh, is through contemplation in times of solace. Right. Uh, this is just a short video. Thank you for watching. Here's the sources. All right, that's it.